Hello world, I'm Josh. I'm Lauren. Welcome to another episode of Let's Try Stuff. Today we're doing Deeper Roots Coffee, the Kenya Lenana uh, variety. Um, Deeper Roots is a local company here in uh, Cincinnati at DeeperRootsCoffee.com. I haven't tried any of theirs yet on video, but we've had it before locally and we usually really like what they have to offer. I haven't tried this one yet. Tasting notes are juicy dark fruit, whiny acidity, and spicy finish. And I'd highly recommend uh, that you go to Deep Roots Coffee and buy yourself a bag if you're the sort of person who doesn't mind shelling out a little extra cash for some nice coffee. I really think this is a company that deserves some notoriety because their coffee, in our experience, has been absolutely amazing and they're not paying us to say that they don't even know we're doing this so let's see what Lauren thinks well this is definitely a dark roast okay it's very much on the bitter side but I still like it it's not too bitter for me but it's definitely like a, a darker bolder taste it it's, smells nice yeah it's a little warm for me still <laughs> yeah I was trying to Let's see. Take sips even though it was kind of hot. I was hoping it'd be cooler. Let's see. It smells, um, sort of, uh, like a light coffee and spicy a little. Um, no, I get the whiny acidity big time. I get what they're saying there. Like it's definitely mm. a more bitter variety. Yeah, but it's bitter without being coffee bitter. Does yeah. that make sense? It's like a bitter, it's that wine, it really does have that whiny acidity. And I, the spiciness I get in the smell more than in the finish, I and think. And as you go along, it gets less so. Like it, it definitely isn't so bitter that you can't appreciate the other parts of it. Yeah, I guess I just want, there's a distinction there, like the the, the bitterness is different. When yeah. I usually say coffee's bitter, I'm like, eh, strong and bitter. But it's not burnt bitter. Yeah, it's not yeah. that burnt Starbucks Folgers flavor. It's like bitter wine or bitter fruit or mm -hmm. something. That, that's different. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily what I'm shooting for in a coffee, I really like more of a citrusy kind of flavor, but I, it's a different and interesting, and I find it very drinkable regardless. Yeah, I like it a lot, and it smells very nutty to me. It did in the bag, for sure. Here, it smells, I don't know, the nicer coffees sort of, I'm starting to recognize a similar smell now the the blue bottle had the strongest version of it. The Stumptown was even more toned down and even the deeper roots, but there's like this similar sour note in every fresh bean, like this earthy sourness and hmm. it's the sniffer's broken, so <laughs> these nicer coffees seem to at least carry a slightly similar smell. So anyway, pretty good coffee. Not my absolute favorite. Um, probably Stumptown so far that we've reviewed the Bolivia Buena Vista. Um, but there's other deeper, deeper, deeper roots varieties that are sort of the standard bearers for me that we will have to uh, get to. Because um, I'm not even sure I remember which ones they were, except for their Cabin Fever blend, which was phenomenal. Yep. Okay, I'm feeling awfully monotone. I should be bright and chipper. But it's the coffee. morning, so yeah. <laughs> this is what you get. <laughs> so thanks for watching, and it's apparently Black T-shirt Day. Yeah, Black T-shirt Day! Leave a Yay. comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye! We should end all our videos like that.